You know that man wears that same suit to the market? It's like one of them mighty boys that hangs over the ring side and is like, I'm making an effort. I'm like running out of hoodies for <laughs> you day all the time. Ain't you never talking about beard? That's as it trumped. <laughs> <laughs>
But no, it's good, it's a great, great competition. You know. yeah, it's wrong. It's just wrong to jump into somebody else's video. I'll do it here now. What do you see? You and like have something else done, do you? Oh. <laughs> oh, you all right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Grace wants to talk to you. Grace? Uh -huh. She's standing over in that wee group at the minute. Could you get that video over to the road? What? Tell him to get that video over to the road. Sure, we're, we're having the chat now. Alright, it's not me, it's not them to chat with It's Grace. Grace who? She's one of the wee girls over there in St Connors, the wee girl with the glasses. Where's St Connors based? Uh, Calray and Claddagh. Yes. Yeah, so two wee groups here today. So two, yeah, two entries mm -hmm. for this year? Yeah. Okay. Hedging your bets, going for the double, the double jump? See how it goes. You're the teacher? <laughs> or parent? Oh, I'm only a technician. Right. I'm the teacher there. Okay. So you speak to her, John. Oh, you've been nominated now. You've, you've nominated no, yourself? She, she nominated me. She says, I want to speak to John, so I um, can't let you go. She's with her. Right. John, I don't know Let's what you do. Let's do this. She does. Let's so. do this. Let's meet Grace. Look at her. Look at her. Grace. <laughs> <laughs> you've been nominated. She says you want to tell me something, I don't know what it is. She said she watches all of your videos. Are you on Farmflex or are you on YouTube? Or both? On YouTube, I'm a wee bit of Farmflex. Wee bit of Farmflex? So you've had the free trial then? Aye. <laughs> well look, have an hour month, just like that. Thank you. Tell me about your project. Um, the rising cost of fuel and the impact it has on pharma families. Yes. And the, and the environment. Now fuel, you say fuel, are you talking red diesel, clear diesel, oil, what do you mean? All of them. All of it. What impacts it having? It's so expensive and it's stressing farmers out trying to pay for their home and their mortgage and their wains and also buy fertilizer and diesel and men and everything. Yeah, you know, just jack a price of your beef up a wee bit when you sell it. Uh, just fatten them up a wee bit. No, no just, just charge more when you're selling them. Uh, do that. <laughs> was that easy. Well, are you confident? Are you going to win this? Are you going to get uh, the cattle? I was really nervous actually at the start. Have you had the judges yet? Yeah, I've had most of them. Most of them? Uh, Can you identify them? You know who you're looking at then? No, they just come up here and then see the US thing. Okay, uh, okay. How do you know I'm not a judge? You could be. <laughs> so sell it to me. What? Why, you, what, why does your school deserve it more than the others? Well, it'll be some students in our school that don't come from a farming background but have an interest in farming. Okay. So if we get them cows, we'd be fit to show them that beef doesn't come from the supermarket. It actually comes from, it actually all starts as a wee cab and they fattened up and then goes to the factory. Like, people think beef just comes from the supermarket, but it actually is grown. Well. Wish you all the best. <laughs> hopefully we'll see you next year whenever we're back to see who the winners are. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> and then you'll be counting it. You'll be able to afford farm flex. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the criteria to be the winning school? How do you judge who was who looked after the cattle the best? Well, it's not just that they look after the cattle, but each school gets a topic throughout the year. Right. And then they, they research the topic. So it could be a part of sustainability. It could be um, mental health. It could be the why people don't want to eat meat anymore, um, coming from like a vegan perspective as we had this year, um, could be a mix of vitamins that people need to have. So it really, it's how they, they take their project and they move it forward. Sophie, Ellen, what school are we from? I'm the Newton Hamilton High. And what do we today? <laughs> the win today? The BP Angus Challenge. Uh, our project was the surrounding of vitamin b12 which we done the health benefits of and um letting people making people aware of uh, causes which can happen and illnesses from being lacking b12 so to an idiot like me what is better than vitamin b12 and what does it do right? vitamin b12 it's mostly in red meat you can get it in supplements but it is uh, you get it better in actual meat okay so how we um do you want to say how we are make, reaching that target okay quick. um so we made a cookbook and it's still in progress right now. It's like in the making, yes. but it's called a Just Beef Cookbook. So uh -huh. everything is just Angus beef in it. Okay. And some of the recipes are really yummy. How many recipes? There's, like, oh, there's near, like there's over twenty. Over twenty. 20. And are we? Is this a theoretical cookbook, or are we going to finish it? Are we going We're to publish it? it? Yeah. Okay. It's getting published. It's nearly done. Yeah. And it tells our story throughout the cookbook, so it's just not recipes. It's not boring. It's our journey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's the best recipe you've got for me? Chili, um, honey. There it says. The honey, honey yeah, chili beef. Honey chili it is beef. unreal. Honey I love chili it. beef. Yeah. We're going to have to figure out what the honey chili beef recipe is. I'm going to get Connor to make that someday for the YouTube. <laughs> <laughs>
I think a Brian, his beautiful assistant, the help. Yes, yes. Brian can actually cook, Connor can. Yeah. New Town were very, they were very good. Um, they were excellent. They, they were just so passionate about everything that they came to talk to you about. And no matter what question you asked them in the interview, they were able to come back with something that, you know, either you knew or, or they elaborated on. And you're like, wow, that's something I've never heard before. Telling you all about B vitamins and things and things that I'd never known. And you'd, you'd never actually go and unless you went to research it, you'd never find out. So you learn something every day. Are you all from farms or what's it like? I am. I'm and from a beef and sheep farm. So and I'm dairy with some beef and my sheep. So, and so here is the odd one out. So is is farming then cool in Cookstown High or is it? Oh I, yeah. 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 First yeah. years are mad about it. Like my wee cousin Daniel Blair, he is mental about farming. Like I mean, if he could skip school and go straight <laughs> to the farm and he would. My brother's honestly. the same. Yeah. School is stressful but Is it? Yes. <laughs> really? Yeah, especially when you do Fourth year is a walk in the park. Uh, no. <laughs> Come on now. Fourth year is a walk in the park. <laughs> Best time ever. Because you've dropped a whole load of subjects you don't like. But you, you can't drop my You have no exams this year. The mother. Yeah. Oh, no, we actually do have exams this year in June. We're looking, we're looking to put all this year information onto Excel, Excel file for, for a farmer for the cheaper alternative to herd watch. Yes. So they can record like, meal costs and everything to show how much uh-huh. they get for each calf, and then how much they have to be getting, and then for the medicines, it'd be good for the farm quality assurance there. Yes. Well, you, you fancy your chances? Are you gonna, are you gonna win this or what? Or what do you uh, think? Keep the hopes high. Go back or go home. Go back or go home. Uh, yeah, Whose who's farm's getting the cattle? Our teacher's there, Mr. Palmer. Oh, you're getting under the all the work then? Uh, I will. Is he getting the cut of the money on when you win? We'll see, we'll see at the end. Depends <laughs> how helpful he is. <laughs> Discovered my old A level maths teacher, Mr. Lachlan. How are you, John? Nice to see you again. This is our year 11 team. Um, so these guys all do agriculture. And they're all, most two of them are from farming background, one of them's not, but we'd like to learn a lot more about it. Uh, so, since you've left the rainy, we now have GCSA Agriculture in this curriculum. That wouldn't have been in your time. No, but okay, no, so no, I'm no, used to no, teaching no, this no. man mouths. That's my normal home, if you like. But so, we've introduced GC- GCSA Agriculture. It's a rural school, big rural catchment area and so on. It's just a way of getting these guys involved, sort of seeing maybe the end product, how school links to employment, links to companies and so on. So, and they've really enjoyed the process. So you're far. still at the entry stage, you're trying to get whittled down to the you had to get the calves? Yes. So have you ever been past that point yet? Yes, the very first year, 2018, we had a group that got to the final. They won their calves and they got to rear them and so on. Yes. And they won a special prize. They weren't overall winners, but they did win right. a special prize. So, Well, how much of it is, is the, the, the kids are on this or are you heavily involved in, in helping them? No, well, we, get a, we had a few prompts, but most of these ideas are from the guys themselves. They have sort of come up with ideas, what they want to do and so on. Because at the end of the day, when the judges were around a few minutes ago, they talked to them rather than me. So these guys had to be able to a workable knowledge of what was going on. Well, if, if we get the calves then, are they coming to your place or what's, yeah. ha- what's happening? Guys, who's, who are they coming to? So one of Ross is far. Okay. Okay, so they'll rear them and then after the expenses great, then they get all sharing the profits. Uh, you don't want the expenses, that's what the kind is. <laughs> well, they can look after the expenses, so especially the way meal is at the moment and fertilizer. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I'm going to take you back down to the old, the old days of the rainy now. If you had to describe for someone what I was like at, at school, what, what, how would you describe me? Hmm. Very able mathematician, but uh, you know, probably worked in about third year most right. of the time. Yeah, I think yeah, it would be a fair yeah, comment. Yeah, yeah. You know, lot just kept a wee bit in reserve. So I feel like I let this man <laughs> down. But what happened was I didn't do any homework. No homework. Guys don't Zero homework. And what I got was a D, because I went into the first paper, and I reckon I got about 25%, because I hadn't done any prep. You can not You can only cruise so long, you've got to do the work. You've got to do the work. You no, you have, you have to do the miles, <laughs> absolutely. Do Don't get a D in your A-levels. <laughs> Follow Molly, what's cool? Dariada. Why did you choose to get involved in this? It's something very different. There's nothing really like the ABP Angus Youth Challenge. Um, and it let us work together as a team to uh, create a project, go to Belgium, uh, media training, interview training, the whole works. What was the best about Belgium, the media training, what was what was uh, number one? Belgium, definitely three nights away um, to Belgium, a beautiful city, and we were able to see uh, farms out there and compare them to our farms at home. And uh, What's the biggest difference? 
biggest difference probably the way calves are born there's lots of sirens out there okay. and here it's quite natural born well what's your connection to farming then um, my uncles um, are Jameson's potatoes so um, they have beef and potato farms so uh, I help out there sometimes. Well, does this change your perspective any on where, where you're going, what you're for doing? Are you, are you going to work for your uncle doing spuds or what? I want to do civil engineering, so I think yeah. it's the competition sort of help with the teamwork aspect of that and like project management, so and confidence and speaking and interviews and things. You the boss then? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> well, what did you win today? What was the award? Um, so I got the outstanding individual achievement. So being the boss paid off then is what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> Well, congratulations. No worries. Have you got a mad teacher? Yeah, I do. His name's David Hodges. <laughs> it, just, it just wants to be famous. Like, he literally just came out of the crowd. Sure, more than famous. Sure, been on home ground and everyone else. He's been on everything, aye. I'd say if he had come to file done, that's the full thing. Oh, well, that was that on the home ground. What was our home? We were on Two North. You were on BBC News. On BBC News. So if I'd... How famous do you want to be? How sir? famous does he want to be right now? <laughs> sign, sign a contract with Farm Flex. Sign a... <laughs> yeah. When you're looking somebody to go and take a uh, take interview, maybe? Yes, no, yes, yes. Oh, um... You're going to give up the teaching and come interviewing, horse? Uh, what's, uh, what's, uh, what's the money like, John? Hey, if you talk to me, I'll talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> if you keep him know. working, now you'd be worth it, like. Oh, well, that's it's true. very hard to get him gathered up, you know. Well, um, we were supposed to be here at 10 o'clock this morning. What time did John get out of bed this morning. Yeah. Oh. Hang on a minute, whenever we went to Garth Brooks, you told me he's an early riser. No, I did not. You did. Oh, you were a Garth Brooks fan? Oh, I mean, I'm sure to bed. Yes, yes. Well, what's your yeah. connection to farming then? My dad would be a farmer and my, my partner would be a farmer as well, so I can't get rid of it. <laughs> but why would you want to? You know, farming's great. It's, it's so much fun. Are you going to stick with farming or? Yes. Angus farmers. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm up the Angus beef. <laughs> what am I doing with this? This is going to YouTube. Love is, is Farm Flex in your house? Probably somewhere, yeah. Okay, but you're not aware of it? No, my husband would be more into that than uh, me. Ah, good, 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 good. Poor children, that's, that's my job. We're not just on YouTube, that we have an actual thing that pays Connor's wages and pays Brian's wages, and, and it's the top drawer. It's like better than YouTube, you know? Get them all onto the good stuff. Uh, and then Dear Sunday. Nice you know yourself? Uh, there's not as much nonsense as YouTube, yeah, that's fine. Yeah.